good afternoon my friends i hope all of you are having an awesome fantastic day and hello from bush gardens tampa bay so today i am very excited because we get to ride the two newest coasters here in central florida here at bush gardens we have aranguazi which i just can't believe i'm about to ride this animal this beast of a hybrid coaster and then after we finish up here we're heading over to SeaWorld orlando to ride their newest coaster icebreaker I'm very excited. It's going to be a great day. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. We have officially made it inside of the park and there she is, Iron Gwazi, right behind me, which is pretty crazy because I've been doing construction updates for around two years on this beast and today is the day. Also, if you guys don't know, Bush Gardens Tampa Bay is located about an hour and 20 minutes away from the Walt Disney World area. Here's the front. She is beautiful. Oh, she's going. It sounds so smooth already. And by the way, it is officially opening on March 11th. 2022 but we are here for pass holder previews i wanted to mention the original guazi opened june 18th 1999 and it's still here but now it's iron guazi and it's now a hybrid coaster fantastic iron guazi takes thrills to new heights plunging riders from a 206 foot tall peak into a 91 degree drop and reaching top speeds of 76 miles per hour riders on iron guazi will experience a dozen airtime moments including three inversions as they sink their teeth into crocodile inspired thrills wish me luck bye bianca bye everybody see you on the gopro just made it through the checkpoint I can't believe I'm actually going this far because usually there was construction walls. Looks like there's a fun photo op right here. You can purchase Quick Q. And then here is the locker station. Check out the test seats. My goodness. Yeah, it looks very nice. Looks pretty comfortable, but we shall see. And here's the height check. You have to be at least 48 inches to ride. This is very nice. Lots of really good theming. This is the load station. I'm going to ride in the back row first. I'm next to ride. It's happening. Yes. There's a seat belt and a lap restraint. And away we go. <laughs> it's finally happening. Oh man. Oh. oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm a little terrified. But like an excitement. Terrified. goodness first time I'm crying a little bit no, you did the great, the great that was amazing back, back, back roll is the best. Back the best that was good that was so smooth <laughs> with the good. still track but it felt like a wooden coaster oh my god i love that that was just 
awesome. I had to come back to get in line to ride in the front row now. A little long, but that's okay. Also, they were giving out these first to ride buttons. Pretty sweet stuff. Front row. Oh yeah? That's good to hear. Do back row. Back row is pretty sick too. Yeah. A little bit of a struggle now. Away we go. <laughs> we have our 91 degree drop coming up. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Unbelievable. Two thumbs up in the front. Wow, wow, wow. Iron Guazi was, it was something. My heart is still racing from the front row. That was incredible. So I liked the back. I had two rides, the front and the back. I really enjoyed the back because I felt like I was getting more G-force and I was getting more air time. But then when I rode in the front, man, that 91 degree drop, it, it, it's terrifying. It, it is terrifying. It is amazing. I love this coaster. It's a great addition to this theme park. Everybody's going to love this coaster. I highly recommend make the drive here to Bush Gardens. Have a ride or two or three or four or five rides on Iron Gwazi. That was unbelievable. I also want to say, because I wanted to compare Iron Gwazi to the Velosa coaster. I don't know if I can really compare the two because they are two complete opposites of each other. I still like the Velocicoaster more. That's my favorite coaster right now out of all the coasters. I love the Velocicoaster and it's just completely different. Here it's just more of a just like a classic thrill ride coaster because of the wooden structure and the steel tracks. It is a hybrid coaster, but it did not feel like I was riding on a wooden coaster because of that steel track. You know, they, they really outdid themselves here with Iron Gwazi. That was such a smooth coaster, lots of thrill. I like the part where we're upside down, just like the Velocicoaster, because I love being like upside down on coasters. That is just, it's just really fun. But what really stood out to me was that 91 degree drop. That was insane, intense, but it was so awesome. Yes. I love it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. If you are a pass holder or a fun card holder, here's the dates for previews. So you still have plenty of time before the grand opening in March. Before I forget, a big shout out to Rocky Mountain Construction for building Iron Gwazi. They did a fantastic job. All right, that was all that we needed to do inside of Bush Gardens. Let's now hop in the car and drive over to SeaWorld Orlando. We have about an hour and a half drive over. There is a little bit of traffic. So I'll see you guys at SeaWorld Orlando. It took us about an hour and a half. There was a lot of traffic from Busch Gardens to here to SeaWorld Orlando, but we made it with about an hour left to go for pass holder previews for Icebreaker. So let's head inside and hopefully have a few rides on Icebreaker. This is really neat. 
I'm kind of surprised SeaWorld has this, but it's a pharmacy kiosk. So if you need anything or if you forget anything on your vacation, I mean, they have you covered. Oh my goodness. They actually have a COVID-19 home test kit. Wow. Now you do have to be 48 inches to ride this coaster. And here we are just right out front of icebreaker once again this is a ride preview for pass holders here's the front entrance and then you have your lockers right there looks like it is a walk-on let's go for a ride i'm now in the queue line but here's the test seat so you guys have a better look looks like there's a good amount of space it is very loud right now but here we are i'm going to ride in the back first Ooh, it's a little tight, it's a little snug. <laughs> and away we go. We have the track switch. Thank you for riding Icebreaker and enjoy the rest of your day here at SeaWorld. Nice. I'm excited. Oh. Woo! <laughs> oh, that's nice. All right. Pretty smooth so far. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Oh man! Whoa! Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh. Oh. Nice air time. Yeah. That's all. All right, it was a little short, but it was very smooth. It was like a little rocky for me, but I am in the back row. Yeah, let's go have a ride in the front row now. This was definitely the best part about this roller coaster. That part was really fun. How cool is that? Here we go, front row POV of Icebreaker. That is so neat. nice in the front now sit back with your back against the seat i just rode icebreaker twice once in the front row and once in the back row i think i liked the front a little bit better i do recommend this coaster like I was expecting a little bit more, but I did know this was a family coaster. So I wasn't expecting too much. Right now, the Seven Seas Food Festival is going on here at SeaWorld, which is like a Epcot festival in a way. I like the fact that you can purchase like a package, like a lanyard here at SeaWorld. 
I wish Disney would do that. They also offer 28 live concerts here. It is running through May 8th, Thursday through Sundays. Also, SeaWorld is celebrating Mardi Gras this year from February 24th through March 6th. There's gonna be a pop-up parade, live music, street party, Gulf Coast flavors. This t-shirt is pretty awesome. I like the retro look to it for $27.99. There's also a water bottle, dominoes, limited edition, playing cards, a coffee mug, and here's a woman's tank top. Oh, there's this one as well. Yeah, I like this. You know, I grew up going to SeaWorld San Antonio, and uh, this is bringing back some childhood memories right here. This duck is living his or her best life because the water is a little wavy right now. But that's going to do it from here at SeaWorld Orlando. All right, my friends, we just made it home. We had a really fun day, but first, let's talk about Icebreaker. It was fun. I will say I was expecting a little bit more because I just knew this was like a family coaster. Was it going to be insane or thrilling like Iron Gwazi this morning? I will say it was also pretty cool to ride in the front row and I think I enjoyed the front row a little bit more just to see how the track and the system operates with the track switch. That was really cool to see in person. It was a smooth coaster. It was fun. I feel like if you have children who, you know, are hesitant to ride those bigger attractions and those bigger coasters like Mako or Manta or like Haggard's Velocicoaster, this would be kind of perfect for them to kind of get the feel for a more intense coaster, even though it's not that intense. But Icebreaker was a simple coaster, and I like that. You know, sometimes simple is the way to go. Heading back to Busch Gardens Tampa Bay, Iron Gwazi. I loved it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up because it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you all in YouTube. I will see you in the next video. Prince Charming out. Goodbye. I am feeling lonely and I want to make it time to end the right. They need to slowly over those can lift me up this time. You were the only one who got me tripping up inside